you guys and welcome to the channel if you're new don't be Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, um, okay. So when Deja went missing with my oldest daughter, uh, Jerrica, she was actually in Jacksonville with my oldest daughter, but we didn't know where she was. And, um, I was stressed out. Okay. Didn't know where she was for four whole days. And the little girl had got found in the, in the freezer at the time. Remember that? Yeah. With her friends at the hotel. Right. So when my baby got missing, I was losing it. I put my hands through my hair. This is my hair. It was falling out. Mm. Just falling out. Whole bricks. Stressed right. out. Couldn't eat nothing. Couldn't keep nothing down. So when he seen me put the post up, see, Mike used to come to our house and hang out. But I never knew him for years and years and years like people think. I'm not from Fort Hill. Mm -hmm. I born in Virginia and I was raised in Gifford. Okay. So, uh, of course, knowing his background and all that, what he do and all of this stuff, I didn't know any of that. So, what I did know was me and him had done already, we had done, it had been years, but me and him, um, in 2017, we had done had our relations or whatever, and it didn't work out right, so I stopped dealing with him. But when he seen me put that post up, he called me and asked me what was going on. And I told him, I said, well, Deja's missing. He said, Deja, I said, that's your little girl, right? Didn't even know. I was like, yeah, that's my daughter. I said, she's missing. We don't know where she's at. I done called the police. We done been looking at me and me. Because me and the adopted mama, um, Ashley Jackson, we were co-parents. Okay. Big time co -parents. When I say I got to leave work, go to school, pick her up, do stuff, all of this. Yes, I was all in. Okay. So if she was 14 then. Okay. Anyway, um, so Mike said, so do you think if I say that's my goddaughter, being that everybody knows me here, that will help? I say, yeah, go ahead. Okay. So you go ahead and do that. I sent him the picture. She was in my ex's Lexus, in the back of his Lexus, with the little cute little things, with the little yellow top. Mm -hmm. And he put the picture out there by his goddaughter. Now, after that, Mike never came back to my house. He never talked to Deja, never was around. We just said that, the godfather thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Then he was like, you know, he did try to say, oh, well, he'll look out or whatever, but he never came through and it was okay. It wasn't a big deal because I've been mom and dad for help, so right. it doesn't matter. Right. Okay. So, um, a year later, the, um, the adopted mom said, well, you need to, you need to get your, get together because I had to move out of that apartment because I was actually subleasing the apartment. So I had to move out of there and find another place. So I went to roommate with my cousin. And then from there, I ended up moving to Wabasa. Okay. So from there, I ended up getting a house in the Highlands in Bureau. So she told me, you need to hurry up and get your stuff together because when she turns 16, I don't know what's going to happen. That meant she wanted Deja out of her house. Right, right. Deja, she said Deja's been fight, trying to fight on her and she bringing boys in and out, sneaking and doing all this stuff. And I'm like, seriously? Because see, Deja is a type she, when my oldest daughter, my other daughters told her about all this money and all the drug money and everything they used to have and all of that, I'm tired of going to jail. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to keep selling drugs and to buy you stuff. Like, right. I'm going to give you everything that I possibly can give you. What I can't give you, then I can't give you. Right. You know, so that's what it is. And Deja just got to herself. She showed me that money was more important. Right, right. So we went over to the Ashley house. I let her do her thing. Go ahead on back over there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, because that's not I'm just not what I'm about. After after all of that, I mean, I ended up going to jail because my oldest daughter went to go and retaliate on the boy who actually touched Deja when she was two, which she did not know. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to come home November sixth because we will be doing another interview. Um, she will let you know herself. Who come home she, November sixth? My oldest daughter, Jericho, oh, the so one she, I went to jail. Okay, so she I, got in trouble for retaliating against uh, the other Right, guy. no, I got in trouble. When she went to go retaliate, she called me, and I got caught with a gun in my truck because I did pull it out. I ain't going to lie, I did. Okay. So, um, and I keep a bat in my truck. Well, she, 
she had a bought she bought her a car and had a bed in there. So when the police, when I got ready to pull off, when the police stopped, they stopped me. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, the issue is back there. I'm leaving. Right. But when they seen the back the car, I'm gone. Yeah. And this all is surrounded by Deja. She's saying that you're saying that the God father situation was already in place when she was missing. As a way to find her, he was just helping out. That okay, that, that was then, that was then, but then when I came home February 5th, it was still my godfather. He told me that he was my godfather. He said he's my godfather. So I asked, when I was in jail, I asked, because I heard girls coming in there talking about she messing with an older man. And then I got a phone, I, when I called home, I found out that it was him. So I snapped. And when I came home, I went up on, I asked her, I said, are you messing with him? Because he is as nasty as hell, because me and him not been together before, and he knew you when you were two and three years old. Right. You know, and he's supposed right. to be your damn guy. So, and he way older than me. That's nasty as hell. Right. No, mama, it ain't like that. It's not like that. He telling me, oh, I wish people stop saying that. I wish they stop saying that, because I don't want to lose my kids to DCF. And da 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 I could lose my house and my kids. You should have thought about that when you were fucking my daughter. Right, right. When she was 15. Right. I'm just saying, wow. you lied the whole time. And the day before Father's Day, uh, um, at, on, uh, what was that, the 18th of June? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's when it came out. She left, and then he d- decided to, she went to come stay. She came over here to borrow money from me to buy him a Father's Day gift. And I was all gun ho But she was texting, and he thought she was texting some other dude. So I'm like, why is he so upset about her texting another dude if they not fucking? Right. And I'm, you know what I'm saying? So then she come when she comes over, I waited for about an hour. She was in my bed right here because, yes, I did come home and I did move in here with my daughter. I didn't oh. have to. I was supposed to go to Brooklyn, but I had my, my vehicle and all my stuff in the storage yeah. at my ex dude's job. So I was not going to leave my stuff. Mm-hmm. So I had to wait until I got a job and I was able to get all my things. And that's what I did. But Deja was here, right here in my bed, telling me, I said, so you ready to talk? And then she started talking and started telling me everything. And I already knew, I'm a mother. I know when my kids is lying. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be around you 24-7 to know when you're lying. You lie. So, and I asked her, why did you lie? Oh, because he said, don't tell you. I said, why do you think he told you that? Right. I don't know. I said, because for one, we done been together too. He know that shit is wrong. He knew you from a baby. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, okay, so they started messing around when she was 16. Yeah. Mm. Allegedly. Allegedly, 16. Child, please. You were 16. Oh, wow. Let me okay. look. Because you was right here when you said you got put out and you ain't have nowhere to go. No, you got put out from Ashley House and you was right here in your sister's house and you was living with her because I begged her from jail to let you come and stay here. Mm. I begged her and she said yes. And she let you come here and she told you the main thing you gotta do is go to school. Go to school. Cause she knows she's gonna hear my mouth every damn time I get on that phone cause education is a must. Yes. So go to school and learn something and be somebody, be better than me. Don't be like me, be better than me. So that's a big thing for me. She let her come and stay here and she didn't wanna, she didn't wanna follow the rules. She wanna run in and out. Do all this stuff. You got pregnant once, abortion. Then you're pregnant again. Now, then you, you you have the baby. Now you you got the damn baby all over the place. Yeah. You baby got a cold at six days old, and you had to step back. That's crazy. Sit yeah. your ass down and be a, be be a mother. You a child had a child, but you gonna have to learn to be a mother because you can't keep aborting kids. Right. Right. So, I mean, don't say you didn't have nowhere and this and that. You didn't want to follow the rules. So you wanted your little hot ass off and his predator fucking ass found you. And he knew who you was. You didn't know who he was, but that son of a bitch knew who you was. Yeah. That's why he was scared when he know me. I'm crazy as fuck, especially when it comes to my kids. So he kept lying and lying and lying, saying that she was the cheat. They would say, oh, no, we ain't doing this. We ain't doing that. You lied. Yeah. Now the shit is out. Yeah. And I was going to let them live and this not even say, and I was going to just let them live. But when she went on that live and, and said, oh, um, at 16, my mama was, I ain't have nobody in. My mama's a druggie, is a druggie. Girl, I've been clean since June 15th. I mean, June 24th, 2015, baby. 
Yeah. Weed is not a drug. God gave it to us. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. with that being said, uh, that's my clean day. And I have to go to no program, no jail, no prison. I did that on my own. And when I was locked up in prison in Jersey, I could have got high as a cool ball. But right. I did not. I chose to have something. I chose to get a relationship back with my children. And that's what I did. Even when I lost my kids, let me clear this shit up. When I lost them, I got them back. And on top of that, Danger didn't make it home because my cousin got mad at me last time I made a live and said something about his sister that's passed away. Oh, fucking well. Tanisha Broad next had all my kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. She had them all. And the, she, the, the middle one that here snapped out and they moved her. The oldest one, she took her to New Horizon and told her, tell them you see you hearing things and seeing voices. I mean, hearing voices and seeing things so we can get another check because Jay Brill is gone and we need more money. And it's just you and Deja. And that's not enough for her to pay her old man's insurance on his damn cars. Anyway, with that being said, this bitch disappears with my child. We looking for Deja everywhere. Where Deja? The caseworker found me in Jersey in prison. Miss Evans, we've been looking for you everywhere. We can't find Deja. This is what's happening with your kids. That's how I found out about what I just said about my kids. Yeah. When I came home, when I got out, what I do? I got on my shit and I started shopping, sending boxes down here, boxes of clothes, boxes, shoes, everything, sending them. And I'm talking about, um, there ain't no damn stores down here like the ones up there. Even Farming Mills, that was one of my favorite stores. I go in there and load up on shit and send them down here. I go to Cowtown in Philly and send them all kind of shit at the flea market, send them stuff. They ain't get none of it. It all got sold and my aunt bought some and, and my niece was, had an outfit on. My aunt didn't know whose stuff it was. I said, damn, I really like this outfit. Come down here in 2009. Visit. My house had just got ready and they took, they took, that's how I ended up Jay Brill ended up coming back to Florida in 09 because my house got ready for my brother, not for me, my brother Mark Davis, not for me. Hold on. <clears throat> my house got ready for him. Wait, where my camera at, child? Oh, it's hard to see. It's kind of hard to see. I'm sorry, y'all. But that's my brother. He, The house got ready and um they took her when they found out that they couldn't get me because i was actually on parole that's why i stayed in jersey because for one i didn't want to come back and start snorting coke again and losing everything so i stayed up there and bettered myself so this was november 2nd of 2000 um to, what 2000 was it 2009 no 2008 no it was it was nine it was nine so no was it two th yeah, yeah, yeah it was nine because i had a it was nine. Anyway, I was on parole and I was about to be done November 24th. I mean, 21st. They raided my house November 2nd. They were going to close my case and give me all my kids back in four fucking days and I had no clue. And it happened just like that. Yeah. And it was, a, it was something I just had to go through because, I mean, it was hard. I had to leave. I, I didn't have to leave my house, but I decided to move to Virginia and try to get a place because my house got raided in New Jersey. I couldn't rent in Virginia. Right. So what I did, I bought a car, I got taxes, worked, bought a car, and drove my ass down here. And she knows it because they pulled up to my house when my cousin finally surfaced with her. We were I was living on Wilkins Avenue, twenty five twelve. Drove back down here. I had to sign my rights off April twenty fifth of two thousand twelve, and they said thirty days. You have thirty days to try to get to try to change that. I did it in twenty two days. I got a job in the house, furnished it off. They said because I didn't have a back, I don't have I didn't have people on behind me saying that yes, you're a good mother. They didn't give me my kids back. Mm. So what I did after that, I stalked my child. Every every group home she went when my cousin died, she went into group homes. We couldn't find her, but I stayed in touch with Sharina Johnson and found out everything I knew, everything that was going on with my kids. See, just because I wasn't there physically, don't mean I wasn't there. Right. I was always there. Right. Um, Hey, I'm gonna let y'all talk. Now I ain't gonna do it all. <laughs> okay. okay. So one question is: is they want to know do he have AIDS? Um, I believe so. Okay. And I try. I talked to her about that, and I tried to get her to go get tested. No, ma, he good. I asked her one day. It was my time of the month, and I was hurting. So, and I know they have ibuprofen, so I asked her for some. She went in the car. I went outside with her. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I see a bag of big ass, a bag of pills. I said, well, well damn, who all pills and meals? What that is? They ain't nothing. They ain't nothing, Marcy girl. Let me see them. Uh-uh. Yeah, okay. And then a little bit came out with that. But I already heard that because my cousin has full blown AIDS. He was still fucking her. Right. His son, Isaiah, that's his mom. Who is Lil Her Jay? husband just died like three, four months ago from AIDS. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. Lewis. 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 Lewis man, Lewis from AIDS. Yeah. Yeah. So have they mm-hmm. have they considered pressing charges against him, or what are they going to do about that? Or are they just going to because I don't I don't even know I don't even know because if somebody need to be pressured. He needed Ashley Jackson needed because she knew about the shit too. Oh, so she, she kept lying to her mama. She is kept lying to. I heard that she's in a relationship. He bought all the wedding arrangements. Oh wow! I heard that she, fucking part. I heard she was That's in a relationship that. with his brother. Is she in a relationship with his brother? I don't know if that's his brother or not. I think that's his friend. But oh. if that's the case, y'all know. Y'all know him very well. Because I know damn well that that guy, whoever she's married to, that's locked up, him and Mike is supposedly used to be like this. So I'm pretty sure they know everything. Yeah. And why the hell would you put my baby in harm's way? Why? Because she was that bad? Right. You you wanted, she was sleeping boys too much. She wasn't listening to you. She hit you too damn hard. So you're going to let some nigga come in and do some fuck shit and then lie to me the entire time? Okay. Okay. And you, the daughter, the daughter that you said you live with, that's your oldest daughter. No, that's my knee baby. Oh, this. Okay. And you say, but one of your, one of your daughters is in jail, right? Uh huh. My oldest one. Okay. So the, the one that was going to take up with Asia. Okay. Okay. She was somebody was asking where's your oldest daughter. Yeah, she in Rock Row. She oh, be she... home November sixteenth. I be throwing my baby a party. I'm going to pick my baby up. Oh well, I'm congratulations. <laughs> And this, yeah. uh, she was asking, how do they she said, what? She's getting released on November 16th. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I, told, I told her that before all this stuff happened, she came over the day before she made her post, hugging and kissing on me, playing with me outside in the parking lot. And I told her then that Jericho was coming home on the 16th and I want everybody there. And I said, even bring it, even bring Baloo. And that's what I call him. Bring him too. Come on, because I mean, I'm the type of mother. I might not like what you got going on, but I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to find a way to deal with it some kind of way so I can still have a relationship with my children. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not gonna sit there and try to run you away and do all this crazy shit. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to have a relationship with them. I'm sorry. That's okay. Excuse me. I'm sick. Baby, I'm on an interview right now. Okay, I'll call you. So how do your oldest daughter feel about her sister marrying Mike? Uh, <laughs> she's not happy. Yeah. But I'm a controller. She's not happy. I'm going to make sure I control her. Because don't nobody need to go do nothing crazy. Right, right. That's, that's enough said on that one. <laughs> OK, OK, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> So, Delina, this Keisha, I was seeing that 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 you guys were real close before the wedding. Like you, Deja, and your oldest daughter. So you were very close, right, with Deja before yeah. the wedding. Right. And I still was, I still was close to my baby girl. I still, I got my granddaughter. I still called her. I just didn't like talking to him. I didn't acknowledge him unless I had to speak to him about the baby. Other than that, no. Or Deja. Other than that, I just don't. Cause I just, I just don't condone in that. I would never sleep behind my mother. And then was when, when I mean it was an accident. She didn't know. But when I told her, she still like, yeah. But she's still my baby, and I still love her. And I feel like if I could get her stable in her own and her and and fix her car that she got out there to Ashley's house and get her in her own like a nice home paid for, because that's what I'm working for. I actually wrote two books, and I need to get them edited. Once I get them edited and the money drop, honey, I'm buying property, and all my girls gonna have their own fucking house. Yeah, their own house. Right. They own. And I'm going to get a business and start that. 
and they're gonna have their own and they all gonna be tied in ain't nobody selling nothing you're right. gonna have to work together as a group as right. a unit right so that's that's where i'm at with that i just i don't i just don't condone with him i don't right. like that because i know he swindled the shit out of my baby she's still a baby yeah that's what someone not said so somebody wants to know, Beverly, does his family support the marriage? So, oh, oh, my bad. Oh, she talking to you. No, she I'm asked, sorry. She asking you, but she... <laughs> oh. Mike's family supports the marriage. Some of them, but his brother actually pulled outside the other day, Alan Huckabuck, and was talking to me, and he does not. Mm. <laughs> not one fucking bit. There's some people saying you're doing good. Since the marriage, I know you say you still have. Oh, I can't hear it. It's too loud. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Keisha. Okay, I know you said you still have a you have a relationship with your with your uh, granddaddy, with her daughter. But have you actually? Well, she said. What she say? She said, "Do you still have a relationship with Deja?" I mean, I would love to, but she, she is, Deja is very bullheaded. She really is, and she's more disrespectful. And I don't like the way she talks to me, and I know me. My oldest daughter, I just beat the shit out of her when I first came home because she was disrespectful. I don't have a problem with tearing my kids' ass up. I don't give a fuck how old they is. Right. And I know me, and her mouth, like she, she do know how far to go in person. Mm -hmm. She talked all that smack on the phone or whatever, but in person. But see, I don't want to be beating her and hitting her. They just only really got one ass with me her whole life, for real. And that's when she ran away. I would love to have a relationship with my baby. I love the fuck out of my baby. Don't ever think that I don't love my child. Right. I love my child. Yes. It's okay. I, I don't think you, I, I can tell that you, you're very concerned about your daughter. And you you do you did a good job with, with with the circumstances that you had. So they and and most of the people in the comment are saying that that you are a good mom. Oh, thank y'all. I can't see anything. It's okay. So so I want to know, Keisha. Wait a minute. Wait a, wait wait one second, Keisha. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Because, uh, as Tammy said in the comments, she says no book on parenting, and and it's really not. And you, it's you really can't, not. you can't, you can't control what your what she does. No matter how much you think we, how much we think we can control, and we can't control our kids and what they do. Uh, she, somebody said to tell. Somebody said to tell April. April said hi. April Cooper. Um, April Cooper. <laughs> you got them crying in the comments. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm about to make me cry over here, um, Davina. So I really, people need to understand. This is why we wanted to interview. <sighs> I, I just she asked me something. I'm sorry, I missed no, the I, whole I thing. Think, I think her phone, your your phone is froze, Keisha. It's okay, Davina. Uh, we don't think that oh. you're bad. we don't think that you're a bad mom. So that's not what we're here for. We just the only, only reason that we're here is to just to get clarification because so so many people have so many questions, and they got all these comments to say about you. They they saying that you're a bad mom and, and as as if you allowed her to to date him. We just wanted to clarify that. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. They think I allow her to date him. Do you know how many times I snap on them? Yes. I went off on them several times about this. And they yeah. kept lying and lying and lying. It takes everything inside of me not to go to my altar on him. I swear it does. I swear. Oh, she said April Stevens. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, hey, I used to work with her at Family Dollar. She knows because when my daughter ran away, she knows she was right there. I was crying. Alana sent me home several times. You can't be here. It's okay. Just go ahead and try to find your baby. 
And right. he came and picked me up one day from the, from the family dollar, and we went to look for her. Well, after the hurricane hit, we was in there cleaning up all the water and everything off the floor, and I just kept, I'll look at little clothes, and just anything would trigger me in there about a little girl, and I just started crying. And my manager was like, just to Tanana Mitchell, she was like, uh, they mean just just go home because it's okay, it's all right, because you're not here. I need you here. Yeah. Wow. It's so um, crazy. Yeah. Okay, so, Melanie, can you hear me now? She can hear you. Okay, so, I'm sorry. I got, I got cut off, and you got me over here crying, too. So, I'm sorry. A very strong mother. I want to say congratulations on being clean. Congratulations on your clean day. Congratulations Thank on you. that. But what else? What can, because you say you, you, need, you got two books out there. That needs to be published. This is people don't understand. This is an everyday story that that happens in the black community with yep. women yes. who do everything they can, but we make mistakes and but we still love our kids. Mm -hmm. So what can what can be done to help? Because I'm for you. I'm for this. I'm for the why we want to interview mm -hmm. you so people can see you have a story to tell too. Your side of things is not, it's hard, and people know this to be true. We on the other side looking in. But what about, like, to support you? Like, go fund me. Like, do you have any type of support that you want to put in this group? Because you, you need it. You have a daughter about to come home. You try to get published. It's very hard. It's very it hard. Is. I'm a mother. I'm a single mother. I'm a single mother. Yeah. And it, it's very hard. And, and I, I don't even, I wouldn't even be able to do everything that you have already done. So how can we support you? Those who support you, how can we do that? Because uh, we're in Texas, as you know. Uh, so do you have a GoFundMe? Or if you don't, maybe you should. You know, to, because this is hard. Right. It's hard. Well, they, in um, comments, all they say is he needs to go to jail. That part, <laughs> that part, and even if they don't take Ashley to jail, which you, I don't. He, right, he groomed her, but he, he because he's older, he know how to he know how to swindle her, and that's yeah. what he did. exactly, exactly. And it's real. So hard. I was even, I was even thinking about. It. I heard Steve Harvey was talking about it, and you know how he does nice things for people or whatnot. I was actually even thinking about trying to go on his show. I got stage fright, but I'll go for my baby to if like get her a home, you know, a, her her own car. And she, what she was supposed to do was go to Florida State. That wasn't even my. I said Bethune Cookman, but she was like, "No, Mama, I want to go to Florida State. I want to go to Florida State." So when she graduated, I was there too. I got some pictures that I should have sent you. Um, I was there. I just didn't take any pictures with him in the damn picture. I took some with her and um. <laughs> I would her and Ashley and the baby, but um, I she wanted to go to Florida State, and we thought that was so awesome. And I was like, okay, Deja, you gonna go to? She was like, yes, my mom, go, I'm go. And then next thing you know, a few days later, it all changed, and it still hadn't came out yet. So I'm like, well, what is he wanted her to stay here and go to a community college? Well, they it's state college now, but it's local. You want to go to Florida State? I was supposed to. We were supposed to keep the baby, me, my daughters, Ashley. We all were going to keep the baby, you know, but she she just changed her mind because he, he stopped her from that. Like yeah, he was already holding her. Somebody said in the comments, um, she needs to get away from him. As long as she's around, she'll never do for herself. Right. See, that's my whole thing because I don't like it. I like my girls to stand on their own two feet. God bless the child that got his own. You know what I mean? And I'm like, you got the smarts to do it. It took a hell to get her to graduate. Oh my God, I had to leave my job so many times. Ashley had to leave her job. We had to get stay on Deja all the time about school. She's very smart. She's so intelligent. She's so beautiful. And I'm like, baby, just you know, just just go and be great. Just go be epic. Just right. like if I could get her, I just feel like if I could get her away from him some kind of way. Get her to go to school. She go to school, and she will be away from him, especially for you might state. have to, you might have to act like you like it to get away from him. Because as long as you're against it, you know that's gonna. I know, I know. As long as you're against it, I think, 
long as you're against it, you can push it. <laughs> I thought it was Ron and BK or KP or what the hell. <laughs> but you have to pretend like you like it to get away. Davina, I think you should do a GoFundMe. Seriously. Huh? Seriously. Yeah. I think you should do a GoFundMe. A GoFundMe? Seriously. Yes. Yes. She, yes. I think she has, if I'm not mistaken, she does have a scholarship as well. But it's just sitting there. I think you should do one. You, you need to do one. Mm -hmm. You need to do for one. For me or for her? For her or for, for Deja? No, Davina needs to oh, do she's saying for you. To have fun too. Because she she's going to need the money to be able to support her kids. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm on an interview right now. What you want? No, 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 no. <laughs> they like they don't see you busy. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, it's not this damn dope, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> but y'all say she just cussing and just going in. No, it's real. Um, that's what we I are, do bro. I, I wasn't really trying to like try to like come like trying to come up off this or anything because I like to go get my own. Yeah, you know, and it, it's a lady down in um, Palm Beach that said she would edit my books for seven hundred. I just don't have it right now. Right, you know, and I'm what between jobs. What are the books? What are the books about? They it's about my life, really, okay. and I put a little fiction in there and tweaked it just a little bit. Okay, but it's real. It's how it's it started off how I went to jail. Okay, I got set up. It, it goes. It, it's real deep. Yeah, it, it's like. It's it's a triple crown. It's definitely a triple crown. So yeah. it's 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 about my girls. You know they are they're in it. It's it's a lot. It's a lot. I don't yeah. want to say too much. I don't want nobody. Right. You know from the by the book now. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it's it's really juicy. It's really good. I mean it'll keep you guessing and to keep you on your toes and you're gonna want to read the next one. I wrote two, but I would kind of I would probably do both of them, but I would just put one out. For and then wait a year and put the other one out. Right. So I mean that's what I'm on. As soon as I I, know, I already know they're gonna sell. They're gonna sell. I read a lot. I'm real nerdy, so I read a lot and I know those books gonna sell. <laughs> well, if I can get that uh, off the somebody, somebody I want to know. Have you contacted the police at all? They said as a mother, you should be able to file charges against them. Yeah, but does that matter if I'm if I'm not the legal mother anymore? I mean, I'm just a biological mother. But you know, oh, she yeah. got adopted oh, yeah. in 2015, right before I came home. Oh yeah, it, I think the the mom so, had to do it. What are the laws in, in Florida for for that? Is it what's the legal age down there for for that anyway? For that 18, as far as I know. Oh, it's 18. Okay. It can't be 16. That's a child. I mean, you might could quit school at 16. You might could get emancipated from your from your parents or something at 16, but you ain't finna be going and fucking no grown ass man. That's your yeah. granddaddy. Yeah. And it's okay. Not at sixteen. Don't get me wrong. I, I, my oldest daughter. I was fifteen. Her daddy was thirty seven. Oh. Right. It, that that was a one time. That it just had. I was. That I was actually. I had started sewing powder a year before that happened, and yeah. um, that's what was going on with that we coke man, and you know we was doing our little thing. Oh my God, these things keep popping up. So um, that's what was going on with that. But he didn't sleep with my mom, and he damn sure didn't hold me when I was little. And my mom had to make him put me down. None of that. He didn't come around when I was a kid. So that was totally different. She said, you probably, <laughs> she said you probably need to just talk to an attorney about it, uh, attorney about it and get some legal advice. Oh, I have one, Jamila Canty. Oh. I already talked to her, and she already told me that, yes, he can be put in jail. Oh, OK. I was a 15 year old and uh i think the guy was 30 something it just happened a couple weeks ago she was at court when it happened and it was judge roby that sentenced him to 15 years somebody this said, just happened a couple weeks ago yeah somebody said that i can tell by your person personality that your book would be really good can't wait to wait till it drops Ooh, it's called <laughs> love and self box <laughs> Volume one, two, and three. <laughs> so, how, um, someone says, "How does the uh, adopted mom feel about the situation?" 
I don't know. I can't even say. I, I really can't. I can't even say. She she seems to love it. Mm. Yeah, I guess yeah. I paid for the wedding. I mean, they're always at her house hanging out in the pool and you know, they're 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 always hanging. She's she's always doing some kind of function and they're there, you know. So she keeps all the kids all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y'all have any more questions? Keisha? Still still no. Um no, I think we didn't have, I think we didn't took a lot of time. I'm just I'm just looking at the comments. <laughs> oh, I know. I see. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I really appreciate you guys doing this. Um, I was a little nervous. Oh. But <laughs> she was nervous. Why? I don't, I got stage fright. <laughs> oh, me too. But I'm not on stage, so it's kind of like talking to one of my family members in Virginia. Right. <laughs> Uh, somebody said, have you talked to her about leaving him? Well, I I did. Not since this happened. Me and her haven't spoken since this happened. No. Uh, you, you I, I talked to her. She said the baby I, wasn't I, his. Huh? Uh, I was responding to the uh, question from Jamil. Oh, oh. The, baby, the baby is not his baby. That's it's someone else's. But then again, I don't know. Ain't no telling because she was doing some things. I mean, I think a DNA test should be taken. Yeah. I think a DNA test should be taken ASAP. Yeah. yeah. If that DNA yeah. uh, is taken and yeah. it proves that he's a baby, they really can press some charges then. Yeah. How, how old uh, is the baby? She's uh she's actually one, or she born March um May twenty sixth. Oh May twenty sixth. Uh, so she just yeah, yeah she's almost two. Okay. Like one and a half. That's my baby too. I love her so much. I have me and her done went live a few times. She's so greedy. She eat everything. <laughs> Yeah, I miss them so much. I just, I just won't, I just won't kiss nobody's ass. I don't give a damn who it is. I'm just not doing right. it. You know. But, uh, she told me I would never see my granddaughter again. Uh, someone said I think you should go to her job. What? Go to Deja's job? To her daughter's job? Does she work? Yeah, she was working. Yeah, she she keep my baby keep a job now. Now she got that job. I pushed her when she was here when he put her out the last time. Oh, so I, said, does he work? This is a question. Oh, I think he do odd and jobs, but I know he still hustle. Mm. I sure said that I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the baby looks like the man. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> That baby look like the man who they saying the father is. Who they oh the um talking about Tyrone? Tyrone. Somebody said big ups to Vina Evans. Keep your head up. Oh, thank you. Do you think she's brainwashed? Yes. Dick Matiz, money matize. It's all about the money though. Yeah. And That's she funny. said you should have grandparent parent rights where you can still see the grand baby. Yeah, that would be, yeah, that definitely would be awesome. It really would. I still want to see my baby, too. I miss her just shit out of my baby. I sure do. I right. want to hug and kiss on her. She's like, my style. Yeah. I don't care. Give me some shit. <laughs> they say, if nothing else, we're going to pray on your relationship with your daughter, and it gets better. Oh, thank you. Okay, and I think we should end it there. Yeah. What's what she said? She was saying thank you for your time. And if anyone oh, yeah. doesn't, doesn't have any more questions, we're going to end it. Any more questions? I don't think he's living rent free. I think she said he's a hustler and he work he works odd in jobs. So I think he he do have some income coming in. <laughs> He got a lot of income. He's saying the damn projects. You keep buying these damn trick dot cars, putting whole the motors. In. Yeah, he's saying the projects. Job back. Please. Fort Pierce Housing Authority, Parkland Courts. It says, please ask where the kid's mother is. What? Which kid? Which uh, Freeman. Freeman. Well, one Freeman. of them. Huh. One of the kids' mother lived right down the street. That's my cousin. The other one oh, is yeah. in prison. Oh, so he got a kid by your cousin? 
Yeah, the one who's full blown AIDS. That her husband just died. So his so child so his, his daughter is <laughs> hmm? So he, he has a daughter by your cousin. And her husband, he has her a husband son. died of AIDS. Oh, he has a son. He got a son. Mm -hmm. Isaiah. I asked him. I said, so Isaiah. I said, is Deja your um your step your your god sister or your stepmom or your cousin? Right. He said, she's my stepmom and my cousin. I said, oh. I said, and your god sister? No, he said, my stepmom and my god sister. And then he said, and my, I said, and your cousin. He was like, yeah. He said, um, she she's mad because he won't call her mom. Uh, he has a mom. It's your big cousin. Yeah. What I don't understand is why did she talk to the stepdad even though you was talking to him? I don't think she. I don't think she What's was. That? I don't think she was a asking why was Deja talking to Mike if she knew that you talked to him. I think he, she didn't know. No, at first. she didn't, she didn't know. know until she, told she didn't know. Him. He knew, but he she did. didn't know. Mm hmm. Cause see, I never. Mike was nobody to have around my kids. Mike was a one-time thing. Like I said on my first thing, me and Mike did something for one hundred and fifty dollars in the cell phone right quick and he was uh, uh, doing that he called him the hugger bro <laughs> and somebody That's said thing thing. About to die. i'm all like somebody said, it's, uh, SSI. <laughs> somebody said i think he gets ssi and i think he has AIDS. sick <clears throat> excuse me we use a gun so uh <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah, yeah, say yes. Listen to the woman. I've been on this story heavy. Right. <laughs> That's what I told people. If y'all want to know, ask me. I probably not gonna lie. And if it seems like I'm, I'm sorry. What you say, Mama? I believe you. Thank you. I ain't lying. I promise my right hand to God. I'm not lying. I ain't got my witches Bible. Y'all might don't believe that, <laughs> but I put it on there. Let me get it. <laughs> Let me get it right quick. <laughs> she said she put like right here in the Bible. Mm -hmm. somebody, somebody said, is he working with something? I swear I'm telling the truth, ma'am. <laughs> somebody said, is he working with something? He got to be doing something. Oh, yeah, little dangle ain't kind of big now, but that shit needed two things and a rubber band. <laughs> And my shit was too tight to get in it. <laughs> it's so hell to get in there. <laughs> oh that nigga was working hard. I ain't gonna lie, I wouldn't let him lick it though, cause he don't look like he's brushing teeth too much. And uh, uh bacterial infection is real. But uh <laughs> but yes, yeah, one, let me think. No, nigga, hurry up with that shit on and hit the shit from the bank so I can go. I got shit to do. Somebody coming over here. That's all. Oh, Jesus. I don't mean. <laughs> go ahead, she listen. He was little. Yeah, he was smaller. But you know, you know, when people get sick, and his girlfriend, listen, the baby mama was my was my was my roommate in jail. And she was hitting around saying, Oh no, I think something wrong with him because he don't put on his weight, he don't got real black. You know, that be the that be the that be the thing that usually happen when you sick. Yeah. You know, you get Arthur and you put on this weight, you get that baby hair, you get looking gray and pale. Yeah. yeah. All that. Yeah. That ain't chlorine. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, uh, Davino, thank you. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, welcome. Thank y'all. Oh, so um, you got me right. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yes, ma'am. Yes, ma and I like it too. Thank you. It needs to be done. <laughs> it needs to be done. Uh, <laughs> Mine. I'm gonna post some of my my stuff from last night. I I was a um a voodoo queen, of course. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, you, but, um, thank y'all so much. Know, I want to uh, 
we can talk to you when your daughter gets out. Maybe we can be part of the party. We can be a, a virtual I, party when she gets home. Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. She'll love that. She right. would. I, I'm going to make sure I get y'all back up on November 16th after she eat because Greedy, greedy want to eat and get cute first. So it's going to take a little bit. We got to go to the nail salon and everything. Right. right. <laughs> How long she been gone? Right. Um, about four months. Oh, four months. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Well, thank you, Davina. Bye, you guys. Welcome.